As a practicing pediatrician, I want to speak to you today about infant nutrition, a topic that's very much on the minds of the parents we see in our practices. The American Academy of Pediatrics and all of us agree on the benefits of breastfeeding. The AAP and the pediatric medical community also agree that infant formula is a safe, science-supported, nutritious means to nourish babies. Even though breast is best, there are many moms who can't or choose not to breastfeed. Others use it as supplemental nutrition to their own breast milk. But infant formula is expensive, and its high cost can contribute to breaches in ideal infant feeding. Many of us see this in our own practices. Some parents might decide to stop formula feeding before their babies reach the age of 12 months. Others start feeding their babies solid foods earlier than recommended, which can contribute to obesity. Still others try to stretch their formula by diluting it with extra water. According to a study published in Clinical Pediatrics, two-thirds of families on WIC run out of WIC-supplied baby formula toward the end of most months. Among these families, 27% reported stretching or reducing feedings, which can have serious health and developmental consequences for babies. The study also found that only 24% of caregivers would even consider buying a store brand infant formula, which is a high quality, economically viable option. That's because half of them mistakenly believed store brand formulas and name brand formulas are not nutritionally comparable. The truth is that store brand formulas like Walmart's Parents' Choice, Target's Up and Up, Kroger's Comforts, Sam's Club's Simply Right, CVS and Whole Foods formulas are nutritionally comparable to name brands like Enfamil and Similac, yet typically cost about half the price. That can save parents up to $600 a year. Many moms who can benefit from the cost savings offered by store brand formulas worry about how switching formula brands might affect their babies. New research can put their minds at ease. A study conducted by pediatric medical researchers at the University of Virginia looked into babies' tolerance of switching between different brands of infant formulas. The study showed that switching baby formulas is a safe option. Infants did not have tolerance issues when switching from one brand of formula to another. And gradual versus immediate switching made no difference in tolerance. So when I see moms in my practice who are concerned about infant feeding decisions, I of course recommend breastfeeding. But the reality is that most moms, more than 80%, will use formula at some point during their baby's first year, especially working moms. I always recommend store brand infant formulas. Thanks to new research, more evidence demonstrates tolerance and safety among all brands, even store brands. For more information, visit www.storebrandformula.com.